Wars universe is so big that there may be some things you just may have missed. Even for you super fans, one game that should totally not be overlooked would be Star Wars Dark Forces from good old LucasArts. So remember in A New Hope when the Rebels are sitting in Alderaan talking about how their spies got them the Death Star plans? Yeah, that was you. The first mission in Dark Forces is you and Kyle Katarn setting up the Rebels to make the Death Star go BOOM! But it's not long after, and by that I mean the very next cutscene, that the Empire is unleashing their secret weapon, the Dark Trooper. Now since Kyle wasn't a Jedi, yet, you'll be using whatever weapons the Empire fools drop after you drop them. This means stuff like Imperial Blasters and Thermal Detonators, really the usual assortment of FPS weapons just in Star Wars style. Now Dark Forces took players to places they had never seen before. They might have known about Coruscant or Nar Shaddai, but they hadn't seen them and wasted stormtroopers on those planets far, far away. They aren't easy to navigate either because LucasArts knew how to design a level back in the day. The winding roads that led to keys to the next part of the puzzle, charging down a hall, turning a corner and having a squad of stormtroopers waiting for you, or reaching your objective to have a dark trooper rain on your parade. Man, never gets old. To top it all off, between the voices, the soundtrack, and the authentic Star Wars sounds, Dark Forces got the most out of MIDI. The sounds coming off that sound card made you feel like you were right in the middle of the movies. <laughs> Remember when you actually had to buy a sound card? Man, it was totally worth it for Dark Forces. 